Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. I just wanted to apologize. My compressor just went out for my microphone, so my voice may not be as loud or as efficient. Uh, hopefully, I'll get that fixed soon so I can still bring better quality videos to you. All right, so today we're going to apply grooves to clips in Ableton Live. I have a drum loop and I also have a MIDI drum loop that I've created using Impulse. Uh, so let's go ahead and listen to, whoops, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and listen to this drum loop right here. Okay, this drum loop does not have any groove applied to it. Now you're probably wondering like, well, what's a groove? Grooves in Ableton allow us to emulate the feel of hardware drum machines. It's one of the options, uh, but you can apply swing grooves, you can apply triplet grooves, uh, double up 16th note grooves, uh, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but most of the time we apply grooves to clips that we have in Ableton is because it, it helps it give it more of a human feel to the rhythm. Uh, I've, I've recorded a very, very straightforward drum loop here, uh, and you can hear how it just has no feeling at all. It's just very, very straight. Okay, so there's no groove applied to that. It's just quantized to death. Uh, <laughs> So it's not going to really have any type of swing or, or feel to it. All right, so in order to apply grooves to your clips, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but there's a few tips here and there that I'm going to go ahead and point out to you. Uh, for those of you that already know how to apply grooves to clips. Uh, but let's start off on the audio clip here on channel one. I'll just double click on it. And well... When we apply grooves to our clips, the way we do that is we select a groove down here in the little clip section for this clip, and then we commit that groove. But we can also do a lot more. We can preview grooves, and we can also edit grooves. So how do we get the grooves to begin with? Well, there's a little round icon here with a couple little squiggly lines. Go ahead and click on this, and this will open up the groove pool, and I can make this a little bit larger. Uh, okay, and so, well, to access the grooves inside Ableton, all we have to do is just right-click in the groove pool, and that will give us a little browse groove library option. So I go ahead and select that. And if you look just up here above the groove pool, there are several folders that already have preset grooves that you can use. Um, the one that I'm more familiar with is the MPC grooves because I used to use an MPC drum machine or sampler. And there's also some there's also some hip hop grooves and some other quantize and rock grooves depending on the type of music that you're creating. So to grab one of the grooves from the groove library, we just expand the folder and uh, we have several grooves here to choose from. I'm going to send or select something with a very hard swing to it. That way you can tell the difference in the sound a little bit better. Uh, but when we've decided or have decided on a few grooves to choose from, we can just click and drag them into the pool. So we can drag more than one. Let's say I like that one and something like they have a funky, a funky groove that we can choose and I think where it says 70 and 60 and 55 I think this is the amount of the groove how heavy it is so 50 would be a lighter application where 70 would be a much more uh, noticeable application of the groove so I'll select 70 or funkier 70 and drag it in here and so that's pretty good. We'll just use these two grooves right here. So that's nice. All right. So, well, I've already double clicked on the drum loop here. So all I have to do now is come down here where little clip section is in this 
clip area. And right down here where it says groove, it's currently set, it's currently by default, it's, it's set to none. But if I click on that, I will see those two grooves that I've dragged into the groove pool. So here's the cool thing about working with grooves in live is that you can preview the grooves in real time as you listen to playback. Let me go ahead and start this loop here. There we go, had the wrong channel there. So we're listening to the loop back and forth right now. And what I'm gonna do is come over here to the little groove section and select one of the grooves. We'll start with swing 75. To make this groove a little bit more noticeable, what I'm gonna do is increase the velocity right here so it makes those transients a little bit more sensitive. So you have velocity, meaning that uh, each drum hit or transient was going to have different levels and volume, which almost creates like a shuffling kind of sound, which can sound more human-like. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that up so you can really hear the difference when we apply this groove. Okay, I'll go ahead and disable that groove now by selecting none. Okay, let's go ahead and try a different groove now. That one's much more noticeable there. So the cool thing about grooves is that we can actually go in there and edit and apply how much groove we want on the clips that we're applying them to. So the timing percentage, the randomness of the groove and the velocity, also the time base. So it's currently set at 16, but we can bump that all the way up to 32. And if we wanna quantize a little bit while the groove is running or while we're using this groove, we can also do that. So there's some really cool options. But as soon as you find the groove that you like, after you've listened to the loop back and you've been previewing the different grooves that you have inside your groove pool, the one that you like the most, go ahead and select it and then just press the commit button right here because the groove is not really gonna be permanently applied to the clip unless you click the commit button first. So go ahead and click that and you can see that the drum hits in this loop moved into their proper position based off of the groove. So I can go ahead and undo that and then it just jumps back to normal and then I'll go ahead and redo the commit. And there you go. So it's, you know, it's permanently applied to this clip. If I accidentally do it, I can go ahead and undo. Uh, but let's go ahead and listen to it back. Another cool thing is that we can do this to MIDI clips as well. I've created a little drum loop here that you heard earlier using Impulse, which is just a little uh, drum machine trigger type of, almost like a little uh, sampler without the samples uh, and just a very basic uh, drum machine system. And I've uh, just used the, the, uh, the preset b uh, backbeat room in Ableton. So I've created this little beat here. Okay, it's very straightforward. Let me go ahead and double click on that. And over here, we have the groove options, just like we do in the audio clip. So we have the MPC 16 Swing 75 and also the Funkier 70. Let's go ahead and play that loop back and apply the grooves to the clips. There we go, so it has a much more human-like feel. Sort of has more of a floating 
swing to it. Okay, so if I like that, I'll go ahead and press on commit. And there we go. So it's applied that those grooves and these velocity changes to this MIDI file, which is really nice. So, uh, so there's some tips on how to get uh, some better sounding human-like feel to your rhythms and your projects in Ableton by using grooves. And uh, thank you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.